I got into 3D printing. It's really an extension of my career-long quest for what I will call freedom of shape. So the traditional problems in sculpture have been what, things that are called undercuts. And so how do you make a shape where you can't get a tool up into something? And 3D printing uh, addresses that problem with, there are various uh, techniques of, within that, uh, different technologies, but basically all of them do that by taking the object, in this case, from my case, it's sculptures, and render, thinking of them as an infinite series of, of two-dimensional slices. Now, the problems are that it doesn't make it very fast, it doesn't make it in very good materials, and the sizes are limited. But from the standpoint of freedom of shape, freedom of shape has arrived. And so I got involved with that and got, my, got myself one of the early, early 3D printers. And my first use of that was for uh, shop models and for models for sending to uh, the, the carving companies in China for doing the, the granite carving. But then I got a little bit interested in how the models looked. And I felt that if they could be bigger, then they might really hold their own as sculptures. And I bought a larger 3D printer that let me build sculptures in the two to three foot size. And that was then the show that I had at Autodesk Gallery. And that was really the first time that an established sculptor used 3D printing to make sculptures that were fully standalone from the 3D printer, not as models or, or just as prototypes. The part about those sculptures that were really important was I, I couldn't make those sculptures any other way. Their results from a line, a spline in space that I determined on the computer. No one could have modeled those sculptures if you just started in clay and were making just aesthetic decisions. They wouldn't have the rightness that they have done on the computer, and then that rightness has to be translated back into the real world. And you couldn't do that from just drawings or measurements. There is a sense of, of precision and correctness that only the 3D printer can, can render. So uh, w once again, I, I had a, an aesthetic issue that, that I wanted to achieve. The existing technology, I couldn't do it. And so I found a new technology. I didn't invent that technology, but found a new way to bring me, again, freedom of shape, a lifelong quest. Currently, I have taken the step of finding another way to use the 3D printing to make the larger pieces that go directly into the foundry uh, in the, as a part of the traditional lost wax process, but eliminating the enlargement step and the step of rubber molds and, and wax casting that were getting distortions that, to me, spoiled the sculptures.